सो लॉट ऑफ यू गाइज आर आस्किंग विच पर्टिकुलर थीम दैट यू आर यूजिंग इन इंटेलिजी आइडिया और विच पर्टिकुलर प्लग इन और फॉन्ट दैट यू आर यूजिंग इन इंटेलिजी आइडिया सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी ऑल द प्लग इन एक्सटेंशन थीम्स कस्टमाइजेशन एवरीथिंग दैट आई डू इन इंटेलिजी आइडिया to increase my productivity and to make it look what i want to so without any further ado let's get started now if you are new around here i'm shabir and i do tutorials on java spring boot golang java script and everything related to tech so whatever the new things i learn i will share it with you so if you are interested in such kind of videos then subscribe to this channel now all the plugins and extensions that i'm using i will divide it into two categories one would be the visuals means the ui experience and everything and the other thing is the features it gives us so visuals category and features category so let's start with the visuals first let me open the intellij idea and i'll show you what all things that i have installed so let me just go to the intellij idea let me open it now here in this particular screen this is my intellij idea screen and you can see there are a lot of customizations that i have done plugins that i have installed so the first thing is the theme itself so which particular theme that i am using which particular icon pack that i am using and let's go through it so let me just go to the plugin section so the first thing that i have installed is the xcode theme over here so this is the xcode theme by zihan ma so this is a particular theme that i am using in all my videos i like this theme quite a lot it comes with the two versions a dark version and a light version so whichever you are interested you can choose from i'll link all the things in the description below so you can check those out so this is a particular theme of choice that i'm using the other thing alongside this theme i use is the atom material icons so if you go to this atom material icons it is from the atom material and you can see the, all the icons over here right let me just move it over here and you can see all these particular icons the icons over here for all the folder structures and everything these are all the icons from this particular extension that is the atom material icon so it gives a nice pop to the intellij idea and it's very colorful right so i like this quite a lot so i'm using this particular icon theme the next thing that i use is the indent rainbow this indent rainbow what it will do is it will try to colorize the indentation of your code if you see this code right it has the indentation so you can see there is a green color there is a different color for this indentation different color for this particular part different color for this particular part right so all of this indentation comes from that particular plugin so you will get more understanding like what is your correct indentation this type of things is more helpful when you are working with the yaml files because yaml files will have to work with the proper indentation right and from the java code level as well it is very helpful to understand what is your indentation what where your for loop starts ends where your if statements and everything starts and ends so this is something that i use to get the better understanding of the uh, code structure the next thing that i use is the mario progress bar so you might have seen that whenever there is a any of the progress shown over here it will show as a mario progress bar so let me just show you that so if i do maven clean over here if, if you see at the bottom you can see that it's coming as a mario theme right so i'm using this there are a couple of more different types of progress bar also available you can check that out i will try to link all those in the description below and this is something that i have customized intellij idea to look how i want and let me just show you the fonts as well which i use i don't use anything fancy so if you go to the editor general font and you can see i'm i'm just using uh, monaco font with the size 22 so it's properly visible when i'm recording the tutorials so this is all about the visuals category let's now move on to the features so from the features perspective intellij idea is full of features and lot of things available right but there are still some things that if you install those things it will try to improve your productivity a lot so the first thing that i use is the pieces so if you go to the plugin section over here and you can see this is a pieces plugin over here it saves find reuse code snippet and file straight from your id so what it allows us to do is it allows us to save the code snippets and this particular pieces plugin is available across all the different ids so if you check the pieces website you will get to know everything about the pieces so there is a application as well and a chrome extension as well alongside the extension in your ids and code editors so to save all the code snippet so let me just show you the example how it works so just go to the intellij idea or vs code or whatever you are using just install pieces app and what i do is if i go to the browser as well and in the browser as well i have installed the pieces plugin if you go to the code.pieces.app/install you can install it for the mac or you can install for the windows as well it's compatible with all the os as well and compatible with all the other ides as well so just install it run it on your machine and install the plugins as well so whenever you want to save the code snippet suppose i want to i am in this particular file and i want to just 
save this code snippet what i'll do i'll just select everything and right click on it and just send to pieces and it will be saved as a code snippet in the pieces okay so suppose you're finding any solution for your errors that you are getting or try to implement any of the functionality and you have opened a lot of chrome devs and you have opened a lot of stack overflow pages to go through the solution and go to whatever the solution you think might be helpful or which is helpful then just click on the save uh, button over here for your code it will just save that particular piece of code code snippet in your pieces and you can refer it later so we face this lot of time right like whatever the particular solution that we were trying to get from the stack overflow by mistake we might have closed the tabs or we might have closed the chrome extension but if we have saved this in the pieces it will be there forever suppose this is also what i want to save so let me just save it okay so you can see that i have saved couple of code snippets from the stack overflow as well and i have saved couple of code snippets from the my intellij idea as well now if i go to the pieces app okay which i have installed okay let me go to the pieces and here you can see that it shows all the code snippets which we have saved with all the details okay you can say this is the entire code snippet we have saved and this was saved from the js snippet it will try to tag the particular language as well and if you click on this it will try to give more information if you want to reclassify rename it if you want to add the tag informations okay and you can see that the link also will be added over here which particular from which particular link this particular code snippet was saved so if you want to refer it again we can go through this link again and to get the more details and we can go through all the code snippets. So you can see this particular code snippet is Java code which we copied from the Stack Overflow. And if you click on this, we'll get more information. Like this is the this was copied from the Stack Overflow. And if you have something copied from the ID or Java file, that also will get. You can see this particular code was copied from the order aggregate dot Java file. And you can see we are getting the information as well that from 18 to 26 line number at this particular project order service this order aggregate or java file is available so we are getting a lot of information over here so if you are going through a lot of codes and we are trying to find a lot of solutions this will help a lot to organize everything and whenever we want to use the solutions you can just click on the copy button and it will be copied to your clipboard and you can use the code from here as well directly so it's very easy to organize all your code snippets which will improve your productivity the next plugin that i use is the github copilot i've created a dedicated video on github copilot in that we try to create couple of games in java you can check that out as well i link that in the description below github copilot will give you the auto suggestions of code based on the ai which will try to improve your coding workflows and if you want to check out github copilot you have to raise a request to get the access early access for it i'll link that in the description below you can check that out as well the next plugin that i use is the sequence diagram plugin so this is the one I'm using you can see that this is the plugin that I'm using that is sequence diagram from van studio this will allow us to create the sequence diagram of the method flows that we have so with the help of sequence diagram it allows me to understand the code flow of the entire method or entire functionality so once I create the sequence diagram for any of the methods then I'll get more understanding about okay this is the particular entire flow of this particular method so I'll get more understanding let me show you how it works once once you install the plugin so for any file just right click on it and do sequence diagram it will tell you for which particular method that you have to create just select one of the method and it will show you the diagram over here and with this particular diagram you can understand like what is happening what is the data flow and everything when we have to create a document sequence diagram is very helpful to add the documentation so you can directly create the sequence diagram from here and you can use in your documentation as well so you can check out this plugin as well the next plugin that i use is the key promoter x so what key promoter x does is let me just show you which particular it is this one so key promoter x will allow you to understand more on the shortcuts so suppose if you are doing any repetitive task right suppose starting the application okay starting the application uh, stopping the servers doing repetitive task whatever it is if you are doing those tasks repetitively if there is a shortcut for it in the IntelliJ idea key promoter x will tell you okay for this particular activity whichever you have done this many number of times within this particular period there is a shortcut for it you can directly use a shortcut and if the shortcut is not available it will also prompt you that 
for this particular thing whatever you repeated things that you did there is a not there is no shortcut available but if you want to you can create a shortcut for it which will help you in your productivity because that will avoid a use of mouse and you can concentrate more on the coding part and you can understand more on the debugging or whatever that you are doing so try to use a shortcuts wherever possible use more keyboard rather than mouse so these are all the plugins that i use in intellij idea and if you have anything extra that i can use to increase my productivity and to increase the visuals to work in intellij idea please let me know in the comment section below i would love to know your suggestions as well and to implement in my workflow and if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos and if you are interested in learning microservices and spring boot there are videos on this channel you can check this out videos